You just received your study materials. You're sitting there looking at hundreds and hundreds of pages of textbook and hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of questions that you need to do. And you might be asking yourself, what have I gotten myself into? Well, don't panic. Okay, I'm going to guide you through this process of how it is you should get started studying and then we'll keep going as you get closer and closer to the exam. But you need to start by remembering this. Preparing for the exam and passing the exam is not a sprint. It is a marathon. It is going to take a lot of time. It's not something that you're going to do quickly. It's something that's going to be slow and steady. You're going to have to be constant in your studying. And because it's a marathon, because it's going to take time, you need a plan in order for it to be successful. In fact, you actually need two plans. And that's where we want to start, the plans that you need to set up in order to put yourself in a position to pass the exam. First, I want you to use our study plan that we have prepared to guide you through the materials. We know what we're doing. This is why we put this together, to help guide you through the process of going through all of that material. Okay, you're just going to go through it and we're going to guide you through it. So make certain that you use your study plan. Make certain that you use your personalized study plan based on when it is you plan to take the exam. Now, the second plan you need is a plan about when you're going to study. What I want you to do is to make a plan about when during the week you're going to study. Is it Tuesday morning, Thursday evening, Wednesday afternoon? It doesn't matter when it is, but you want this to be a standard, constant time each week. You should put this in whatever planner you use to keep track of your time. And these study sessions that you're putting in there should be required. These aren't optional if nothing else better comes along. You need to stick to these times that you're going to study. I understand it's not going to be possible every single week, but you want to stay as consistent as you can in the times that you're studying during the week. It makes this whole process much, much easier for you. So now that you've got these two plans that you're going to use to guide yourself through it, I want you to take about a week, 10 days maybe, just to familiarize yourself with the materials that you have. Install exam success. Install the flashcards. Print the textbook if you're going to do that. See how the videos work if you have the videos. Just become familiar with the tools that you have available to help you go through this process. Explore the syllabus, explore the content for a week or so. Just flip through the textbook, watch a few random videos, do some exam success practice sessions, just random topics, just to kind of get a sense for some of the things you're going to be studying as you prepare for the exam. So when you get the materials, I want you to spend a bit of time just becoming comfortable, becoming comfortable with the tools that you have and what it is that you're going to be covering as you study. Now, when you're ready to start studying, you're prepared. You have a study plan that's going to guide you through the materials. You have your own personal study plan that's going to help you get through the times, know what times it is that you're studying each week. Now, it's going to take a few weeks to kind of iron out the details and to know what exactly works best for you. But you will get there. It may take a few weeks to sort it all out, but you will get there. And remember, this is a marathon to prepare for this exam. It is not a sprint. And you have the plans that you need. And if you follow those plans, you will be prepared to pass your exam when you're ready to take your exam.